to see with these favorites videos. I don't know what happened exactly. I have no explanation. Being lazy, don't want to film, that's exactly what happened. So, But you're getting my 2013 favorites and I'm so excited for this. And I have a hair. I can't. It's like bothering me. It's like stuck to an eyelash. Anyways. See if I can get it. Oh, oh, I got it. I got it. Okay. Anyways, so these are some of the products that I have been loving throughout 2013. A few of them maybe didn't use for the whole year, but I did use them quite a lot. So, I don't know where to start. There are quite a few items here. I think I'll start with some makeup. So, first thing, which is kind of boring, is this e.l.f. powder brush. And it's just a big, which, sorry big powder brush. I love this. For three bucks, you cannot beat this powder brush. Amazing. A must try. Three dollars. If you don't like it, you're only out three bucks. So that is really great. Next item I got in my Ipsy bag, which is this Caitlin Tinted Lip Balm in Big Apple. I love this along with my Rose Slav, um, from Bath and Body Works, the CO Bigelow Rose Soft. These two together, because this, for a tinted lip balm, this can be quite drying, but with this together, and then like I'll put this on, then put this on, and then put this over the top of it, it just looked really pretty. And I have been wearing this quite a lot, and I really liked it. And then, next item is the Rimmel Scandalize in the color Nude. I love this. I put this in my waterline and it just brightens up your eye, keeps you from looking like you are just ridiculously tired and yeah, I love this. I use this, well, every day, every time I put on my makeup, this is what I use in my waterline. Then, of course, what would my favorites videos be without any Lush products? Eyes Right. Great mascara. I have a problem with using mascaras and it irritating my eye like I don't know why it does that what the deal is but they always seem to irritate my eyes so eyes right it has like one preservative instead of like five or seven or something like that and it really keeps me from being like oh my eyes it's halfway throughout the day and I absolutely love this product then I had a lot of makeup favorites the elf tone correcting powder um, I did notice that they have changed these since I bought them, but this one I have hit pan on and somehow it broke on the side and the mirror came out, but it's a cheap product, it's like three bucks as well. I love this. This is really good. I really, I, some people say they can't tell a difference. Maybe it's just in my head that I can tell a difference after I put this on, but it's not like a dramatic, like covered and changed the tone of my face, but I do really, really like this product. It is really good for setting your foundation or you know, tinted moisturizer or whatever you're wearing. Then I have a body wash from Lush, and that is the Flying Fox Body Wash. Funny story, me and Corey, Corey and I both love this. He loves it because it smells like honeysuckle, and as a child, he used to eat honeysuckle in his yard. We both grew up in the country, so it is kind of like... I don't know, it brings back childhood memories for both of us, but that's the only reason he started using it. Not that he wanted to smell like a girl, but that he was like, oh, it smells like honey. It reminds me of honeysuckle. So we both love this product, so that's kind of funny that we both love this. And I have had this bottle, I got it in July, apparently, because it was made on July 7th, 12, 12. I ordered this in July, though, of 13 or whatever. So, and that's how much we have left out of this huge bottle, and it's December now. I don't, obviously, we don't use this every day. I don't use it every day. He only uses it every once in a while. I can always tell. I'm always like, did you use Flying Fox? <laughs> so, um, and obviously, he uses it when we're just going to be at home, because that would be just silly, him going out in public smelling like, um, you know, smelling like a flower and honey. Then absolute favorite Lush bath bomb is the Twilight bath bomb, which I'm going to try to pull it out of here. I got this one for Christmas, and it's kind of dusty, and it's, I don't, I guess it's just, but yeah, that's what she looks like. Very pretty. Huge bath bomb. I get at least two baths, sometimes three, depending on how how strong I want the scent. Like, it's all about how strong you want the scent with the bath bombs. If you want to cut, if you want to use the whole thing, 
go right ahead and it's gonna make your whole house smell like Twilight for like several days, I swear. Then I have a chapstick, and this I got in my birch box. It is the Chapstick Hydration Lock 8 Hour Moisturizer Stick, and that's just what she looks like. Um, I'm gonna go in and do close ups of all this stuff, so hopefully, hopefully. If you don't see them throughout this video, that's because I can figure out how to film them. So, yeah, I'm still learning. Um, I really like this. I liked it so much that I had this particular one in my pocket. I don't know if you can see there. And it got washed in with my clothes because when I go to work, I just it's just really easy to stick a um, thing of chapstick in my purse, I mean in my pocket, and then I have it throughout the day because obviously at work I'm not going to be carrying my purse around with me. That would just be ridiculous. So I just stick it down in my pocket. It got left in my pocket. Don't worry. I have since bought two tubes, one to carry around in my pocket and one to have in here in my little makeup, because this is my bathroom, in my little makeup container so that I can put it on before I put on any lipsticks, because it's good to have a good moisturizer on before you put on your lipsticks so it's smooth and unwrinkle free. So great product. I love this. It makes your lips so soft. That is another pro. Then, la second to last, no, I have two more items. This is an empty bottle, but... I, this summer and spring, I did a lot of working out, a lot of yoga, then I hurt my shoulder and I can't really do it anymore, but I still, for my shoulder pain and stuff, I still like to take Epsom salt baths and this is a Dr. Fred Summit's Arthritis and Sport Epsom salt, um, I don't know how to say that, rubbing alcohol basically with wintergreen. And what I'll do is I'll draw a bath and then I'll pour probably like a half a cup into my bath and make sure like baths smell minty and then you soak and you get your Epsom salt and that is amazing. I also do use regular Epsom salt with my toilet bath bombs and stuff just because, I don't know, especially it's really good like if you're working out a lot and you're going to be sore, really great. Then, second to last now, I have the Michael Todd Pearl and Silk Mask. I love this. It's so moisturizing, very gentle. Like, if you have sensitive skin, this is perfect. Like, perfect for you. I would not recommend the pumpkin mask, though. I'd also have the pumpkin mask for sensitive skin. I love this. Very hydrating. A must, must have. Like, you need to have a hydrating mask in your skin routine if you want to ward off wrinkles because lots of times your wrinkles are just hydration lines, like dehydration lines. Like most of the time that's what they are. They're not actual wrinkles. They're just because you're not getting, you don't have a, like, your skin's not getting enough moisture. So, perfect. This, this mask, and it leaves your skin so soft. Amazing. I think this might be one of my favorite products, like from 2013 is this product, like here. Love it. And it's clear. So, you put it on and you go out in the living room and your boyfriend doesn't freak out. I put on the pumpkin mask and he was like, Jenna, what did you do to your face? So this one is clear and yeah. So little tidbit, little bit extra thing there. Last product is No Drought from Lush. Everybody needs a good dry shampoo and everybody feels differently about their dry shampoos. A lot of people like aerosol, some people like powder. The reason I like this is because the simplicity of the ingredients is just, where's the ingredients? Corn flour, tallic, I guess it's tallic powder, perfume, grapefruit oil, lime oil, and a bunch of other essential oils. That's it. Like, the ingredients label is like itty bitty. You can see it, it's that one right there. And I noticed I was using Not Your Mother's Dry Shampoo, which I really do like that one so much like the list was like half the bottle and I'm like there's just no need for that because you just need a powder to just absorb the oil and I used to use just baby powder but baby powder tend to leave my hair just looking a little bit like white like white cast this doesn't you just work it in there really good and it doesn't and I really really like that product so anyways guys those are my favorites from 2013 I am sure I've mentioned a few products in other favorite videos. I'm like almost 100% positive. I've mentioned most of these in other favorite videos before. I All of these products are really good. Obviously I like others more than the next. So, But I hope you guys enjoy. Like this video if you enjoyed and you want me to continue doing favorite videos. Obviously I will continue to do them. But, that was stupid. Why did I say that? <sighs> 
like this video if you enjoyed this. I like, you know, give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed this. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Comment, subscribe. We'll be, I have big plans for this channel for 2013. Well, New Year's resolutions to try to get out a video every single week. That is my goal. Hopefully it'll happen. If it doesn't, you guys can send me, you know, hate and stuff. So, hope you guys enjoyed and